Alrighty. Oh yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to my channel. Uh, this is your boy Mars. And for everybody that is new to my channel, I do everything related to drag. So it's going to be from front wheel drive drag, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive drag. I pretty much will show you guys how to build the cars. I will show you guys how to launch the cars, what difficulties you got to put for your controllers. Uh, I show you pretty much every single little aspect on how to become a better drag race tuner perhaps so let's get right to it the car that I have that I chose uh, it's gonna be right here which is going to be this beautiful 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 Regal 1987 uh, GNX which is a legendary monster 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 of a car uh, this is gonna be more for the drag race scene when it comes to the front engine Real wheel drive scene. Now it's gonna be a lot of with the, uh, back in Horizon 3 and previous motorsports games and Horizon games. Everybody just loved to do drag racing. This was right here, one of the legendary cars. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys step by step on how to tune it and what did I put and why I put the certain parts that I did. So let's get right to it, guys. I don't like wasting a lot of time. You guys know me the ones that do know me uh the ones that don't like always please just subscribe give it a thumbs up and let's get right to it guys so really quick we're gonna go to the conversions now we're gonna go to the conversions i did put the 6.2 liter uh v8 engine i like that engine more than the actual original engine even though the, uh, the original engine gives you about uh, 300 horsepower but once you build it up uh you fully built it, it doesn't give you as much as what i'm looking for because uh, I really want something fast. Uh, so I did put the 6.2. Uh, normally this engine is from an LS engine, uh, which is coming, coming up from a Corvette engine, of course. Uh, and I have it right now set at 1,008 horsepower. And after that, of course, you guys going to see I do build all my cars when it comes to rear-wheel drive muscle. It's going to be rear-wheel drive muscle. I'm not going to make it all-wheel drive or any silliness like that. Uh, besides that, we are here. We're going to put the twin turbos on the car. And then we are going to go straight to the engine. And on the engine, we're going to pretty much put every single thing race, just like so. So we're going to just put everything here from the uh, those ignitions. We got that exhaust on there. Let's put those cams. Yeah, put everything on here. Race. Get, let's give it that horsepower that it needs, just like so. We got those twin turbos. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got uh, the uh, intercooler. And then I stopped right here. Reason why I did stop is because if you do put the extra eight horsepower, you gain so much weight on the car that you don't really need. So key hint, guys, key little trick, do not put the oil and cooling. Alrighty, besides that, flywheel. Still been ups and downs with the flywheel. Um, reasons why, back in the older games, if you did put the flywheel, your car does tend to spin just a little bit more on that first initial gear. Uh, besides that, uh, right now, the from the looks of it, it's at a 1.8, uh, 1.18, and then right here is a 1. Point, you know, so it looks like it, it likes the flywheel for this game. Reason why these new tires that they added on this game change so much, uh, meaning the grip is insane. I, I literally will just build this car, and I don't even have to touch the gears, and this car will grip. And I'm gonna show you guys shortly. So I did just put just put the flywheel as you guys saw because of the zero to sixty gave it that uh, additional better on the zero to sixty. And then I it, it, the flywheel I've been going up and down with it, but uh, it's just a little thing that you know you always got to be tweaking uh, when you become a you know a, a pretty good drag tuner and stuff like that. This is this video is more for like. Uh, how should I call it for like the beginners for the for the people that don't know how to drag tune I, I'm pretty much just trying to show you guys step by step on what to do and then like that you can tweak the gears you can tweak the car to your own personal liking and make it even faster alrighty so let's go right back we got the uh, performance brakes let's put that on there of course rally suspension reason why rally suspension rally suspension is a lot softer the rally suspension will give it that uh, power from the front of the engine transferred to the rear of the, the tires uh, and then it gives you that initial lift that you're looking for that, that that's the whole key is to transfer that power from the front to the back alrighty so these rally suspensions give it that um, after that we got the anti-roll bars 
got everything on there. Of course, we got to pull the full rage roll cage in the car because I want it to just have that insane launch. And then we're going to weight reduct it. So right now we're at what? 1,008 horsepower with a torque of 842 foot pounds of torque. And the car is weighing 2,900 pounds. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, so it's right at the curve weight. Uh, normally, uh, when you guys, uh, let's see, when you guys do make lobbies, the lobbies normally tend to be about uh, 25, 2600 pounds and up. Uh, so this car fits right at the category when it comes to the uh, the lobbies that everybody's looking for, and it kind of makes all the all the, the rest of the cars pretty even with the weight. Uh, besides that, I got the uh, everything on here is going to be race, guys. We're going to need all these things uh, to the drive line and everything like that. Like that, we can tune the car even more. Um, and then with the tires, this this was the thing that changed everything from from the first time I, they announced it to now, and then me driving the cars from the previous games to now, it just completely changed everything. It's like full blast grip it's 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 insane it's it's remarkable and i and, I, and i'm pretty much liking it i'm i'm i i, I there's a lot of things that i want to do uh with the drag racing scene so stay tuned to my video guys if you guys liked the drag racing scene just stay tuned i'm gonna be making more different cars newer twitches i'm gonna keep twitching cars back and forth back and forth until i get the uh the fastest cars that i i see in my you know my 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 aspect uh, but besides that we got the drag tires on there the front we got it at 245s we don't need nothing with the front and then we got that uh, 345 those massive massive wide wheels in the back uh, besides that I did put the lightest wheels that we can of course guys put some light wheels on it they don't always have to be welds I just put the wells because they, they gave it that drag look uh, but besides that, you don't you don't have to be wells, but with the lightest wheels you can. With the width, we got. I mean, they're 16s. We don't we don't need to go any larger on them. 16 front, 16 rear, and then nothing with that. And then I did put the spacers in the back. Uh, put the first stage because if you do put the last stage, it kind of just gives it too much of a bulkiness, and it's a little bit too aggressiveness. But uh, if you guys want to go bulkier, you guys can. If not, I mean, it's up to you guys. Uh, I don't think it does make a it does it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, nothing with the front bumper, uh, nothing with that spoiler. Uh, reason why we used to put the spoiler it gives it a more of a downforce kind of uh, uh, makes the car more stable on the initial first gear launch. But besides that, with these new tires, we wouldn't need it. And then with the hood, I did put the hood so we can make it a little bit lighter. Okay, that's pretty much the build of the car. I'm gonna show you guys the tune of the car right here, right now, and then I'm. Uh, Let's get this thing saved up. And then I'm going to show you guys how to launch it. Show you guys my difficulty. And also show you guys my telemetry. Uh, the telemetry? Tel tel I can't barely even say it right. That. Uh, so let's go to the tune. So I got everything 1515. Uh, nothing with the gears. Okay. I'm The reason why I'm not going to do anything with the gears is because I'm going to show you guys once I go outside what these stock gears do. Um, and then zero everything out. We got it at seven on that front caster, uh, 65, 65. We got it really soft in the front, stiff in the rear, all the way raised in the front and the rear. Then we got uh, real soft, stiff, soft, stiff. Remember, we want that weight, that power to transfer from the front to the back. Um, nothing with that, nothing with that. And then 100 and 100. So that's pretty much the build, the tune of the car. Let's go outside. Let me go. Let me guys. Let me show you guys how to launch the car. All right. So it's going to be pretty simple. Um, there's a couple different new tricks. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. That thing just wanted to launch. Woo. All right. So real quick, guys. Real quick before I even get crazy excited. So let's go to settings. Uh, let's go to difficulty. On my difficulty, everything is off. We got that ABS off. We got normal steering wheel. Uh, no, off, off. Everything is off. Just turn everything off, manual with clutch, only way of doing it. And then, of course, steering wheel, normal. You guys don't have a real steering wheel, so we don't need that simulation. Alrighty? So we got that. Um, what else? The controllers. Okay, so the controller, you go all the way down. You take away this Anna chick, and then you put the telemetry. The telemetry is going to show you guys the pounds. It's going to show you pretty much everything. Um, and then it's going to go from there. And pretty much, I'm going to just show you guys step by step on what to do. Let's 
get right to it guys that's the telemetry and there we're gonna go from there and we're gonna do everything real simple I think I got cut out of muted for a little bit but uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that telemetry does do alrighty so let's go right here alrighty so if you do press down on the d-pad now having that telemetry we are are in uh, vacuum it looks like we're in negative 11 pounds in vacuum uh, if you do hold down the e-brake which is a button and you press down the gas all the way we're at about six pounds um, so we're looking at the torque of uh, 260 so it's a nice little torque about to launch out of the line and then uh, we got the car in first gear all you have to do guys I have a press down the gas press down all you got to do is just let go of a and look at this This thing just, that's stock gearing. Stock gearing, I haven't done any twitches, anything like that. I haven't even made first gear shorter, anything. You guys can make it shorter if you guys want. You guys can make this car even faster. Um, this is just pretty much a basic tune. I just want you guys to get the suspension, get the launches right. Um, and you guys can just make this car extremely, extremely, extremely fast. Another, another launch is uh, you press down on the clutch you press down on the uh, well first oh because it, it has to go like in a little sequence so first press down on e-brake then you hold the gas car holds at 2000 press down the clutch and then you simultaneously let go and press the uh, e-brake on and off and then car does this now when you put it down on telemetry now we're at uh, 21 pounds of boost coming out of the line and then the higher you go Press down the telemetry, the higher the boost. I think this car is maxing out around 22, 22 pounds. And then you just let go of the clutch and the e-brake while having the gas press all the way down. And there we go, guys. Real simple. Real, 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 real simple. Easy, 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 easy. Um, this is nice, nice basic tool for you guys. You guys can make this car even faster. Um, and that's why I got it. I already, I just like, like a little pre tune that's what it was to call it uh but like always guys please subscribe give it a thumbs up if you guys like the video i'm gonna be posting more videos it's gonna be all wheel drive rear wheel drive um anything i do find all the new stuff i'm gonna post it on my channel so like always guys please subscribe give it a thumbs up and i'll be back with another tuning video thank you guys bye bye